Hey Mini Enthusiasts, how are you doing? So in this week's update, uh, it's a lovely day outside today. Uh, I need to wax or cavity wax the inside of the seals on Vinny after having removed the over seals on there uh, in previous episodes. I've decided it's a good day today so I'm going to have a go at waxing the inside now just to stop any rust. So as many as you would have seen in previous videos and you always hear me talking about wax oil, I'm a bit of a don't know, I've got a bit of a thing for wax oil, I've used it for years, it's always done me good, uh, I've never really had any sort of thoughts to look at anything else, but in recent videos people have said to me, you know, wax oil is a bit old school, there's better products out there, um, and maybe there is, so I thought I'd give something a go to be honest, so yeah, wax oil's been out for forever and a day really, I mean, it's... Uh, does its job, but uh, yeah, I, I, I can probably agree, you know, technology's moved on although this stuff is still good you know it's relatively cheap it's easy to apply um, something's better than nothing so if you've got this in your garage I'd be using this rather than nothing the problem I find with wax oil is uh, it comes out very thick so as you'd have seen here usually before I use wax oil I warm it up in a cup of really hot water to begin with to try and water it down and get it nice and thin um, so we've done that I'll give it a good shake now what I've actually done is got a couple of clear bottles just for a bit of a comparison. So this wax oil doesn't really ever applicate. You've got a small nozzle on there for getting up inside holes and seals and things like that. But it's not that great. Uh, we just apply it. So this bottle really to give you an indication of what it would be like if you were sp spraying it into a cavity or into a seal or something like that. So we'll give it a go and uh, see what it looks like. So let's see. So I don't know whether you can see it's not bad actually. I mean it has splattered it over the top here. Maybe I'll give it a little bit more. bad coverage it's not perfect at the top here it's fairly light obviously it's all collecting in the end there just because that nozzle just sprays out the end um, so yeah it does a job you know that would protect the inside of there but uh, let's try something different then so what we have here is some specific cavity wax uh, just bought this stuff off eBay it was relatively inexpensive to be honest pound for pound it was probably as cheap or if not cheaper than the wax oil um, but it's it's actually made for specifically for applying inside cavities I've used it a little bit on the outside of the car on Vinny uh, just inside the rear door bins um, and it, it gives um, a nice coating it's really thin it goes on like spray paint actually with the normal nozzle on there so you have to apply two or three coats to get a thick coat in but what's very good about it is um, it's it's quite thin um, so if there's any um, sort of flanges or overlap areas um, it's thin enough so it fits within gaps so I think it's going to be fairly messy applying it but um, let's see what it's like inside a cavity so what they actually give you is some applicators here these are good length actually so that's probably I don't know what's that 18 to 24 inches something like that so you can get quite a long way up inside any cavity or seal um, and obviously that just goes on the can so no need to warm this stuff it's thin out the can so we'll just give that a shake and then give it a try Ready? Well, I think as you can see it's it's got far more power and gets much much better coverage than the wax oil but it is a lot lot thinner so you can see in the bottom there that's all collected um, but you're only meant to apply thin coats anyway but 
I think that's going to be much, much better for getting sort of in every nook and cranny that's in the car. So, okay, now onto the car. We'll get it jacked up and get it ready to apply this. Okay, so the first uh, area we're going to do is inside the rear companion bins in the back here. Um, they can be a, a trap for water and corrosion, so pretty easy to take apart. There's just a cardboard cover inside here, like that. Just pull it out. That's it, you can see inside the companion bin here. That's the wiring to the rear lights there. Um, that's about it. Looking inside the companion bin on Vinny, it looks pretty good. No rust inside there and it's pretty clean and tidy. You'll notice uh, this square bung here. Um, that gets to the inside of the seal. There's one on each side and as you go along the inner seals on the car, there's a couple further up the car as well. So it's really good idea just to pop them out. That will then give you access into the inner seal. And uh, using our cavity wax and the nozzle, we should be able to spray into them. So we do the uh, seals from the outside as well, but that's uh, it's really handy to have that little bung there to get inside as well. Can be a bit of a messy job this, and you might want to re remove this door card, but I'm not gonna. If I get any, if I get any overspray on it, I just wipe it off. It's it's literally just wax, so it's not going to be difficult to get off. And it's as simple as that that's that there's a nice uh, it's only a thin coating on that I, I, it probably only wants one coat on the inside like that uh, it's covered quite nicely so that you get a nice yellow wax over the top uh, so I just refit the card now and we'll just give it a wipe down with some uh, spirit right wipe just to get any waxy overspray off and then we're job done so just to give you an idea after doing that companion bin on the inside and that bung we removed as you can see that's gone in nicely uh, into the seals because it's running out the drainage holes in the bottom here so we give that bit a wipe get rid of that horrible bit um, but that's pretty well covered inside as I just mentioned there are some rubber bungs further along the inner seals so there's another one here just in front of that front seat belt mount so we'll take that out give that the same treatment okay now all we're going to do we've got the probe for the wax so we're just going to go up inside the flutes, just give them a, all of them a good spray up. Say so quite a messy job because it's a bit runny this stuff, but uh, it gets everywhere, which is good. Like I say, it's a messy old job guys, but uh, it does a good job. And all we're going to do just to get that wax off is just use some brake cleaner on a rag.
gonna go, job done. Pretty easy to do. Bit messy, but uh, just make sure you obviously cover up beneath the car. And then as I say, wipe it off pretty quickly. It dries pretty quickly as well. Just one final area I didn't think of doing actually, which I think is worth it, is inside this box section here, this cross member. So there's a few holes in it. We'll just go along, give that a coat. Uh, then that should be it. So I think in total I've used about a can and a half to do both sides. Thank <laughs> you.